please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. When organizing a small project in Python, paying attention to how you structure and manage imports is crucial. Proper import organization can significantly enhance code readability, maintainability, and scalability. In this tutorial, I will guide you through best practices for organizing imports in a Python project. In Python, an import statement is used to bring in modules or specific objects from modules into the current namespace. While Python allows various ways to import modules and objects, it's important to use a consistent and clear approach to avoid confusion and maintain a clean code base. Grouping Imports Group your imports into three sections, standard library imports, third-party library imports, and local application slash library imports. This helps in easily identifying the source of each import. Avoid using wildcard imports, although it may seem convenient, avoid using wildcard imports, example from module import asterisk. They can cause namespace pollution and make it difficult to track the origin of specific functions or classes. Use absolute imports. Use absolute imports for better readability and to prevent any naming conflicts. This is especially important when dealing with larger projects or when multiple modules have the same name. Import order within groups. Maintain an alphabetical order for imports within each section. This makes it easier to locate specific imports and avoids duplication. Suppose you have a small Python project that consists of several modules, main.py, utils.py, and data underscore processing.py. By following the best practices mentioned above, you can maintain a well-organized and easily maintainable Python project. Remember to group imports, avoid wildcard imports, use absolute imports, and maintain an alphabetical order within import groups. Following these practices will contribute to a cleaner and more readable code base, making your code easier to understand and maintain. Chat GPT Certainly. Organizing imports in a Python project is crucial for readability, maintainability, and reducing potential issues related to circular dependencies or import conflicts. Here's an informative tutorial on the correct way to organize imports in a small Python project, along with code examples. PEP8 is Python's style guide. It suggests organizing imports in a specific order. Python allows different methods of importing modules. Using from module import asterisk is discouraged, as it pollutes the namespace and can lead to conflicts or unexpected behavior. It makes it unclear which functions or classes are being used. Let's consider a small project with the following structure. Circular dependencies might occur when modules depend on each other. To avoid these, consider restructuring the code or use imports within functions slash methods rather than at the module level. Intrapackage references can be made using relative imports, from import module underscore name, to avoid ambiguity and support better readability. Organizing imports in a consistent and clear manner is crucial for Python projects. Adhering to PEP8 guidelines and structuring your imports methodically can enhance code readability and maintainability. Organizing imports in Python plays a significant role in maintaining clean, readable, and manageable code. Adhering to best practices like following PEP8 guidelines, Avoiding wildcard imports, and structuring imports in a clear order helps ensure the code base's clarity and ease of maintenance. Remember, consistency in your approach across the entire project is key. ChatGPT